Hey guys, my name is Ezra. I'm the founder of ViableView and welcome to our demo. Our mission statement is to democratize access to leverageable market data analytics for tomorrow's entrepreneurs. We feel that big companies are constantly leveraging big data to make informed decisions to win. And why shouldn't the smaller and medium sized businesses be doing the same thing? Oftentimes it's because they don't have access to this data and they really don't know how to use the data. Our platform is made to simplify that, right? So we're gonna start off with our Opportunity Finder, which is our flagship product. What is an Opportunity Finder? Oftentimes referred to as a product finder. Uh, what it is, is a, a tool that synthesizes big data and allows entrepreneurs and product research teams to find products to sell that are profitable and that the market demands right now, uh, right? So that's why it's called Viable View. We're trying to see what's viable in the market. On the top here, we have our category and selection table. Uh, in this table, we have a couple core metrics that we show, starting with the total revenue for that market or, seg or for that category or segment. Then we have the serviceable addressable market, which is a portion of the total market that can actually be reached. Not very many platforms show this number or calculate this number based on the total market. They only show you the total market. That's awesome and all, but what portion of that total market is available based on the competitive nature of the, of the category or segment, the saturation, the success of new sellers, so on and so forth. We show an average margin, which is really uh, an average if acquired through paid acquisition channels. So if running paid ads, right, we, we estimate the cost per click, the conversion rate, the average order value, the, the cost of goods, so we're able to get an average net margin for each category and for each segment as well. Um, and then we take the SAM and we multiply it by the margin, the, the, the available market size times the average margin to get the max profit that could potentially be made within that category or segment if executed on in the most ideal fashion. So if you're looking for something in specific, right, you, you have a, a specialty or an er area of expertise that you wanted to look in, you're able to select that category or dig a little bit deeper into, you know, digital food recipes. So you're a bread chef. <laughs> you could really get, you could get granular with your search and, you know, digital crafts. Say so you're, a, you know, you're, you're a cross stitcher and you know how to make cross stitch patterns. You could select that. However, me, for example, I'm a serial entrepreneur and I'm just looking for what the best opportunity is. I don't necessarily care what category or segment it's in. So I'm going to select all of them for this exercise. As we scroll down, we have a range of six fields, starting with the target monthly profit. Here, I'm going to plug in my target monthly profit. Let's say, for example, it's $5,000, right? Next, we have the average monthly revenue. I don't care so much about the revenue. Here we have the average max monthly profit. I'm going, this is different than the target profit. This is the max profit. So it's important to not limit yourself for future growth, right? In, in your search here, I'm going to put $10,000. You know, we want to have a, a, have a minimum max profit of 10,000, uh, but our target profit right now is 5,000. I'm not going to input any range for the average order value or price, cost per acquisition or, pay, or profit per order. I am, however, going to slide up our opportunity score range. I'm going to slide open our uh, slide up our profit margin range to 40 to 100, and then here we have our market aggression level. This is important for all entrepreneurs to use in this search. Uh, ultimately, it, it, it's a gauge of how aggressive you're going to be, what portion of the max profit you want to obtain, right? So um, I'm going to slide it up to seven. And generally, it would reference your experience level, your budget level, uh, and, you, and you know your ability to actually execute on it. So I'm going to slide it up to seven for me. If you were just starting off selling, though, you would be down here one, two, or based on your goal. I'm sliding up to seven for this exercise. Here we have market KPIs. If you're an experienced entrepreneur and you're already selling, then you probably already know your average cost per click that you're getting for your category or segment. You know your website or your shop conversion rate. You know the average price that you're selling your products for, and you know your cost margin. So you can plug that data in here, and it'll actually re-simulate our entire output to include your metrics and what would happen with this data instead of the industry data. 
I'm not going to plug that in now because I'm interested in the industry data to see what the market is, what's happening in the market right now. I'm not going to include any keywords and I'm not going to exclude any keywords. I'm going to go ahead and search. Okay. As you can see, there's three sections of output. First is the opportunities. Another word for opportunities is niche, right? And what is a niche? A niche is a group of products that are all similar to each other. So that's really what these opportunities are. They're just groups of products that are all similar to each other. I'm going to start off by sorting by my target profit. I'm going to press it twice to get the top on top. Okay, here we go. So we have the top opportunity here, which is SVG cut files. That's the op name. It's in the category, subcategory of SVG files and the overall category of digital crafts. It's got an op score of 6.8, a profit margin of almost 70%, a target profit of almost 700,000 a month, max profit of almost a million, a SAM or serviceable addressable market of 1.4, a total monthly revenue of 3 million. Interesting. So those are like a lot of the, the, the market overall revenue numbers, right? And the profit margin percentage. Then we go into some of the, the data that's industry relevant that we use to calculate that data, which is the cost per click, the conversion rate, the average order value, which is the price that it's being sold for, the cost per acquisition, how much it costs to acquire a customer via paid ads, and the profit per order on average, right? We can see here that the competition is very high. However, it, it, we, we have a SAM equation that is calculating new seller success. So, you know, and the ability for a new seller to penetrate the market which we're estimating almost half of the market is potentially up for the grabs for new sellers. So regardless of the competition level, we still have that SAM equation, which is super useful. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Once we open the opportunity, we're gonna be able to see a lot of different data that's associated with the opportunity. Here we have the average order value or the price over time. So it looks like the average price in August was $8, and the average price in December was $36, a pretty big significant increase in the price. We can chart the monthly revenue, looks like it went from 1 million in August all the way to 6.3 million in December, down in January already. That's a 3 million, we're only halfway through January. Pretty interesting. We're able to see the keywords associated with the opportunity as well. Uh, Christmas SVG, SVG, SVG Cup for uh, and some interesting platform for SVGs, all relevant keywords for, for uh, the opportunity. And we actually simulate the keywords as well to show you kind of like the max profit or the target profit within that keyword. Pretty interesting. You're also able to save these keywords if you wanted to add it to a project or track it. You want to track that, that, that keyword that's important. Next, we have the products. Here uh, are all of the products that are within this opportunity which is quite extensive. We can click the actual product and it'll open to the marketplace that it's on. It'll open the actual product listing itself so you're able to preview it and, and understand actually what the product is instead of just reading the name. Say we, uh, say we really like this opportunity, we can save this entire opportunity to a group, which is our tracker, right? I already have a tracker saved for this, but I could create a new one if I wanted to right here. I'm gonna go ahead and save an SVG group one. Alrighty, saved. I can also save an individual product in a tracker if I would like as well. I can just add it to a, um, yeah, I can add it to an individual tracker, no problem as well, in, in case I don't want all of the products in the opportunity. Not all ops have a lot of products, but um, some of them have quite a few. So say you wanted to just grab a couple products from that op that stood out to you in particular, you could do that, no problem as well. And then last but not least, you're able to view the top shops and the revenue distribution of each. So here we have, you know, Heather Roberts Art, they, you know, they're 1% they're of this total group. We're able to click on them and actually view their shop as a whole. So you're able to, you know, find these best selling shops as well associated with that opportunity. <clears throat> In addition to uh, not only, you know, the uh, opportunities themselves, but we also output keywords and we also output products. We're gonna jump over to products and then we'll finish with keywords. As I click products, here we have, here we have templates, digital formats. We're able to click the product now on an individual level here because it's not a group, it's just one product. So we're able to click that product right there if we want, 
we're able to see all of the same metrics that we see for opportunities. Uh, in addition to that, we're able to see the platform that it's on. Uh, the reason why you can't see that for opportunities is because sometimes the products are from multiple different marketplaces. However, obviously the products are from individual level, so you can see the marketplace that they're on. You can also filter the marketplaces that you're viewing. So if you wanted to just view one marketplace, you're able to do that. Right now, we only have digital downloadable products, which is a first in the market. There is no platform offering data for digital downloadable products. However, we are quickly expanding into additional data sources, such as software, physical product, you name it. We're really gonna, we're really gonna go out there and get a lot of data from different sources. So the opportunities that we're presenting and the products that we're presenting are more comprehensive than any other platform out there. I can go ahead and add this product to a tracker just like I can do in the ops on an op level or opening the op on a product level. I can add this also to a um, to an op. Say I got a new product op. I can add that in there. No problem. All righty. And then we are going to finish off with keywords. Here we are. All right. So the keywords really show us all of the same data as well. We could start by Tam here. Uh, shows us all the same data that we have for ops and products. Really interesting. We're able to see, you know, it's it's kind of similar to niche, but they're just individual keywords. So, uh, you know, here we have uh, top one is business, and it's in, within the category of subcategory of WordPress, the overall category of code scripts and plugins. We see all of the same information. Looks like it's got a pretty big keyword here. We're able to save and track them, just like uh, ops and products as well. Speaking of the tracker, we're going to head into the tracker where you're able to see all of the ops that you saved. You're able to you're able to click the op and it'll load. And, and ultimately, this is a great place to not lose track of all of your findings. You're going to save all of your findings into your tracker. What happens after you're done with your tracker and you want to execute on the product, right? So the next is going to be the project, right? And so Say I've made a bunch of ops that I really think are awesome and I'm ready to execute them. Well, I'm gonna start a project. Initiate a project, I'm gonna select what category and segment it's in. I'm gonna fill in the niche, the project name. Say I have a website or just a shop on a marketplace, I'm gonna plug that in here, a brief description. I'm gonna plug in what stage in it's for, a full description. I can add my current team if I wanna post it publicly or just have my team work with me on this project. Uh, I'm going to add all of my products from my groups right in here. No problem. I just select what group and then I add them into my project. Uh, I can add multiple groups. And let's say I need talent. I need a new digital marketer and I need a new operations specialist and I need customer service. Well, I can add an open role into my project. So not only is Viable View a data aggregator AI platform that helps you identify what to sell, but it's also helping you build a team to make it happen. So you can you can enter your roles, you can the job title, description, compensation, any additional info, how many people you're hiring for it, and you can save it. You can save for multiple people. We're in the works of adding an option for you to be able to raise capital via debt or equity. This is coming soon, and you'd be able to input that information here. You can then either save, uh, you can either save the project internally just for your own, you know, internal team to execute on, or you can post it publicly to recruit new talent and or capital. Uh, so this is really exciting is the projects platform. And last but not least is a market overview. This is a really awesome way of looking at our data from a waterfall perspective and really just a, an, an overall holistic uh, analysis. Right, so me, I'm gonna select all of the categories for this exercise. Underneath that, we can chart all of the categories here. Because I have all of the categories and segments selected, it's gonna chart all of the segments here as well. I'm able to chart all of the data for the categories and segments so I can have a quick glance. See, I'm just trying to find, you know, here it looks like SVG files is coming up big, 3.8 million TAM, estimated max profit of 1 million. Looks like crochet patterns have a $5.6 million TAM or max profit of $1.3 million. Wow, quite impressive. That our data is really a lot of data that you have never even thought of or didn't know existed. And that is the power of data, right? WordPress, $7 million a month in TAM. 
It's incredible. <clears throat> Here we have all of the niches that fall within anything that was selected above. So we show the niche, the segment, the category, the, the, the available market size, the margin, and the estimated profit. Uh, let's say I just click a few of these. Uh, I can chart them below again in a niche overview, which is really helpful. I can select all of them. Super helpful for a quick glance of a, a chart view, uh, and comparing all of the niches, comparing all of the categories, and comparing all of the segments. Additionally, we, we have the apps selected above uh, here presented along with the keywords and products that fall within those apps. So a really great way of viewing it. You're able to save and track them right from here as well. So, you know, kind of like another way of finding what you need to find, right? So thank you so much for watching our, our uh, demo. I really appreciate it. We're ecstatic to be here at this stage. We're open to any and all input, guys. So, you know, feel free to drop it on our website. We have a section for it. And uh, I hope you guys all find your winning product and send it to the moon. Viable View out.